Hey guys, welcome to another quick video and today I want to talk about Cotton Reboot for the PlayStation 4 and the Switch. Uh, you guys know I'm a big shoot 'em up fan so I decided to pick these up and I just want to kind of go over a little bit about these games with you guys. So, so in this package you get two games. You get the new Reboot game and you also get the original game that came out on a Sharp 86,000 or X86,000 excuse me. Um, weird name for a system but anyways guys um that version was known as the best version a uh, home console version of cotton out there so it's nice they included it with this package so with the reboot game it's really a lot of fun lots of colors it just really makes you feel nostalgic this is one of the like i want to say this is kind of like one of the shooters that got me back into playing shooters i remember playing this on playstation uh, in, korea, in korea the original game and i really liked it now, I just want to go over, though this game looks very colorful, um, music outstanding, all that stuff. From the original game, this one is a bit harder because the sprites are bigger. So, there's a lot of stuff like covering the screen pretty much if you're not like taking out enemies uh, properly. So, you get kind of confused, but it's not like too difficult. It's still a lot of fun. It took me, I want to say, around 40 minutes to beat the game in one sitting, and I unlocked the extra character. I didn't play as that character yet, but I think that was pretty good for a shoot 'em up game. You don't want them to be too long or too short, so I thought that was a good length. Now, if you're one of those people that's kind of like, you know, not sure if you want to try out shoot 'em ups, I think this game would be the perfect game for you to try. It's very colorful, it's very fun. Uh, it's got some funny moments in it, it'll make you laugh, because I, I like when you beat levels, or even in the intermission level, there's like a little story sequence that is really funny if you read the dialogue, so I thought that was pretty hilarious. I know a lot of people don't really care for their story mode in shooter games and you know maybe that's because some of it's during gameplay like something like riding five but this game you know with the intermissions and everything like that between levels i think it's it's well put together you could skip them of course and then if you want to see what's going on with the story i think it's actually pretty funny so i think people might want to check it out now just in case you folks don't know I've been a big fan of the Cotton series ever since I played it on the PlayStation, so I've gotten most of the games I, I was able to get for a good price, and um, I'm happy that these games are being re-released. Um, not just re-released, but remastered and everything, so it's really a remake, you know, it's just really cool to see that. So hopefully if this sells well, we'll get the second game and Cotton Boomerang as well uh, in America. We'll see if that happens. I know they're being um, put out for Japan. Uh, so far and there's another new cotton game coming out. I think it's called Re uh, Rock and Roll or something like that. can't remember the name of it right now but um, it seems like they're bringing the series back so hopefully uh, they do well in America and that'll bring um, a lot more interest here hopefully. Alright so now we're going to take a quick look at one of the original versions that was ported to home consoles. This is the Sharp X68000 version and this is considered the best port of the original version of the arcade game. So um, this being added on the collection, I thought was really good because it's, this this game is not as hectic as the reboot version you saw. As you can see, like the screen is not re really filled up as much, and um, this one might be like a, a more uh, tamer version, I would say. So um, I'm glad that they added the original version so that people could see uh, where this game came from, the roots and everything like that. So uh, pretty awesome that's on here. Um, I do recommend people play the reboot first and then come back and play this one. Um, I wouldn't play this one first if you bought this collection. Or maybe it, maybe it doesn't really matter for some of you, but definitely I would say play the reboot version first and then come back to this.
All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you want to pick the cotton game up, um, I got mines on Amazon, and I don't see any real difference between the PS4 and Switch version. Um, honestly, for me, I would, I mean, I prefer the PS4 version because I figure that version would be better, wouldn't have any problems. But both games seem to play fine on both consoles, so pick either one, I would say. If you want a detailed review on this game, I would definitely check out uh, Bullet Heaven. They did a review on this game. So anything you want to know about this game in and out, uh, definitely watch that video. I'll leave a link in the description of their channel in the video and also uh, where you can pick this game up from. So anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Radical Reggie, and I will see you all later.